Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on in, welcome on in. If you guys enjoy these videos or if it's your first time here, be sure to check the description down below and join our Discord channel. There are fun games and an awesome community of people where you can talk about anime, video games, and a whole lot more. And while you're down there, why not check out my Twitch channel where I play games, do art challenges, and best of all, have movie nights of movies you guys choose. Is that it? Wait, all right. I think that's it. All right, let's just get to the video. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for some more One Piece. Last time we watched episode 101, pretty one-off episode, another filler kind of thing. Uh, we were introduced to Scorpion and his children, <laughs> Dip and Chip. <laughs> I can't get over those names, Dip and Chip. And uh, he was a bounty hunter, uh, gunning at Ace for their bounty, but it seemed to be a pretty honorable reason. He wanted to show his kids that uh, there's nothing you should fear, and he wanted to provide the best for his kids and, uh, you know, take out one of the biggest, baddest names uh, that we've seen so far in the Grand Line. Um, other than that, uh, that basically gave us a reason for Ace to leave because he said, uh, now he knows, uh, Blackbeard isn't here because he was going to you, but to meet up with Scorpion and ask him where Blackbeard was. But it was clear that Scorpion was lying about Blackbeard's. Uh, about him defeating Blackbeard. So, uh, Ace didn't really find any other reason to be in uh, uh, Alabasta. So, he was going around to the west or something like that to uh, see if he could find Blackbeard there. He gave uh, Luffy some piece of paper. I'm, I'm assuming he has coordinates or something to Pirate Summit where he's saying that they will meet again. But, without any further ado, let us get to episode 102. Bars. <laughs> without any further ado, let's do it. Skip the right into the episode. We good. We Gucci. All right sweating bullets look at them jesus they are sweating some real bullets luffy's always dead luffy why are you always dying and he he really can't take the heat it's like the fifth time they've gotten lost from each other man they really cannot travel in the desert bro they can't travel at all they just keep getting lost oh was it luffy's fault because he knocked out luffy what are you doing this whole entire travel like documentary they're shooting here oh my god luffy goes crazy Luffy cannot handle this travel. He just keeps getting delirious and messing them up. <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. He ate one of those weird cacti again. He needs to chill out. He can't be happy unless he's making noise. Luffy needs to chill out. I'm really forcing this man Chopper to just sit, travel out into the desert. He can't handle it. So it was like the babysitter over here having to handle all the kids. <laughs> just dragging Chopper around and... Did you all not learn about this whole footprint following? The wind blows it away. It just happened before when you guys were... Oh my god, they don't learn. <laughs> these, these kids don't learn. I mean, they are kids, right? Like, they're all like, they're all in their teens, so it makes sense, but still. I'm not much older. I probably make the same mistake, so... <laughs> Luffy's just being stupid. He sees Crocodile in him. Wait, how does, does... Did Luffy see Crocodile yet? How does he know what Crocodile looks like? Is that a plot hole? Did I notice a plot hole there? Because I don't think Luffy ever saw a picture or anything of Crocodile yet, did he? He just knows his name. He, what move did he use? Sand split? This man Luffy is getting delirious and making up new moves over here. It's so hard to stop him once he's gone nuts. Yeah, this happened once before, didn't it? <laughs> Way back when Luffy versus Zoro. <laughs> this is Luffy versus Zoro round two over here. Look at them go. Zoro ain't even using his swords. He said, we going straight fisticuffs over here, man. <laughs> Why did I have to follow a captain like this? Yep. Why did you have to follow this man right here? God, you hear that? It's the cracking in there. If you want to hear and watch along with me, be sure to check the description down below. We got ourselves a bit shoot link where you can watch the full reaction. <laughs> that sand woke you up with some smelling salts over here. Jesus, their fists are still in their faces. Holy... Oh, were those smelling salts? <laughs> I think those are smelling salts. <laughs> God, Luffy's done. <laughs> He's still buried. <laughs> Leave him like that. <laughs> yeah, all that wind probably blew away your guys' footprints. Y'all are screwed. No, I don't think so. No more foot. Look, there's so much wind. Luffy, you're going to be the death of your own crewmates, man. You are going to be the death of them. <laughs> it's your fault. Because it's the desert, so we can't smell anything. <laughs> Brilliant deduction. Luffy, be quiet. You you are not the captain here when it comes to travel. You are the captain when it comes to battle. When it comes to travel, you just gotta shush up and try your best not to inconvenience your crew and stop getting them lost. Yo, if Luffy wasn't here, bro, they would have been to their location like a minute ago. 
Luffy's just been holding them back this whole time with all those crazy mishaps that he's getting them into. A bit different from other pirates. I mean, we've seen other pirates. They're, they're all generic, but you guys, you guys are the odd ones out right now. That's for sure. You're the oldest member of the crew. Mm, okay, he is. All right. How old is he, really? 19, right? It's not like there's much difference between the older man. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, we're getting a bit of a uh, one-on-one -on -one time between Chopper and Zoro. Okay. Everyone looks kind of wild and in, uh, independent to me. Yeah, true. That's true. In my case, things just happen to turn out like this. Yeah, <laughs> Zoro's just going with the wind. He don't care. What does teamwork really mean anyway? Mm, there's the question. There's the philosophical question. Is this about rescuing and protecting each other? I don't think so. I think it's more than that. I think it's about trust. You gotta trust each other to know what to do and when to do it. Everyone should do oh, what they can with their lives on the line. I would go, okay. <laughs> That's your punchline, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's okay to have a Nakama that are wild and independent. That's just how I think. So this is Zoro's element right here. This is how he operates. Now I understand what Usopp said about me being the best. Side. Okay, yeah. And when he says it, he says it that. <laughs> Since we've been together so long, another purpose has started to emerge. Mm, okay what's the other purpose here beyond your own self-interest what is your purpose for being with luffy stop it i'm telling you luffy is the death of them luffy is the death of them you didn't have to bring them along luffy you could have just gone by yourself oh my god they're dead yo zoro's spine is gone <laughs> yeah i'm gonna cut you up chopper is dead look what you did because you launched him there Oh my god, <laughs> look at Zoro's eyes. What happened now? What is that, quicksand again? That's how I felt, he's like trying to be funny. <laughs> oh my god, they're always getting themselves into some mess because of Luffy. What are you finding, what are you going to do some Tomb Raider shit? What is this? Found himself into a cave? <laughs> Got some Tomb Raider mess going over here. <laughs> I'm about to write Tomb Raider as one of my notes, and I'm going to be totally confused, like, two days later like why did i write tomb raider what, am, what was i talking about all right we got some cave explorers going here all right is this filler or is this a serious episode because if, if this is a serious episode this is pretty dope i want this to be canon <laughs> why are you down here <laughs> it must be really nice in there though because it's underground and shade it must be really cool down there oh yeah chopper's still up there without him we'll have no chance finding vivi and the others oh my god <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He just falls out. He's like, see, <laughs> he did. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, as okay as he can be with Luffy pummeling him with his legs right there. I'm sure Sanji's glad he got stuck with Nami and uh, Vivi here. <laughs> yeah, Vivi and Nami haven't had to walk at all. It's all Eyelash has been carrying them the whole time. This build, uh, this build is on top of Dune. You can see it clear from a distance. Okay. We continue at the same pace. We should be there by nightfall. Oh, okay. So they're almost there. Cool. I always got to keep making sure I'm still recording. Cause I never know my computer be acting up sometimes. All two kingdoms were found and then disappeared. Half the places we've been to are ruins. <laughs> it's not. It's nothing new. <laughs> Straight ghost towns everywhere. Mysterious. Ooh, I want to see. I want to hear some mysteries. So the past time now, Alabaster Kingdom is here. Okay. Even a thriving country is destined to disappear. Almost like a romance. Sanji, watch your mouth. That's her homeland. You can't be saying mess like that. It's messed up. Now again, I think that myself. Poetic justice or poetic misery? I don't think it's justice because it is kind of an insurrection going here. So do the culture and custom. I think if those remain the same when the kingdom changes, there might be no need to struggle to protect the kingdom. Okay. Maybe there are other things that really need to be protected. After revisiting the town with the fake rebel army meeting the sand pirates, I began to think, yeah, yeah, she was thinking about it. She was like, what, what are we doing here? What is the point? It's not strange things. It's it's the thoughts of a leader. The thoughts of a future leader. That's what you gotta have. It's a broke work, secret involvement. There's nothing. Uh, there's going to be meaningless war. True, true, true. You gotta friend. That is your main goal. Make sure you repeat your main goal to yourself. You gotta know what you're doing is worth it. Even if history remembers me as cruel and ruthless. Yep. I will not allow crocodiles' plans to succeed. Whatever you gotta do for the common good. I can't restrain the power flowing inside. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> I love how Usopp lies for good and for bad. You know what I mean? Like, oh my god, why are you doing that? He lies like um he lies about how like just that just right there is like a simple example, but he lies how he's like he's not tired, but really he really is, but you know, he also lies about other things which are good, like I'm not scared, but I'm gonna lie to the point where um he's gonna fake it till he makes it. He's the prime definition. 
We've been inside a huge dome. Uh, it was constructed by humans. Okay. Man-made. All right. It's probably an ancient ruin. Okay, so we are doing some Tomb Raider mess over here. <laughs> Uh, picture, uh, picture like symbols written all over it. I saw something like this in a book. Ooh, it's an, a it's an ancient writing system. <laughs> that ain't Luffy's goal. <laughs> this place is really refreshing. Yeah, well, I just shut up and let them do their, uh, investigating here. I want to hear this. I want to hear this. Uh, construct underground or it could have fallen underground later. Either way, it looks like someone was trying to hide this building. Buried it under a desert. That's what they did. <laughs> Zora doesn't give a damn either. <laughs> Their attention spans are sort of limited, especially for the strongest ones. They really they really stop caring after a little while. Luffy, chill out. <laughs> he's a, he's just he's literally a child at this minute. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he said, Alright, let's go. After Zoro slapped him up. Y'all are lucky I have Luffy here. Just grapple his way up. He missed! Idiot. <laughs> he's about to cause the whole entire cave to just <laughs> destroy he's gonna cause the whole thing to capsize oh my god luffy chill out i don't think he's gonna be able to get out there yeah just grab onto the big rock near the hole yeah true why are you grabbing onto the sand stop luffy you're gonna cause the whole entire cave to capsize luffy is the death of them that that is that is the point of all this who are you trying what are you trying to hit <laughs> don't be so <laughs> now that you broke the rock what are you gonna grab onto well, I mean, if, whenever Luffy has a plan, it usually works out. So I think we're good. <laughs> oh, God. give Just give up. That's the only way. <laughs> like, just give in. Let's just do it. Oh, my God. Okay, now they're gonna, they're probably going to make it to the town first going like that. <laughs> Luffy, I think Luffy forgets that some of his crewmates aren't as durable as him. I don't know if Chopper's going to handle the fall. I mean, Luffy, you're made out of rubber, so you're good. And Zoro kind of survives everything no matter what. I don't know about Chopper. He's a child. Chopper did not sign up for this. This is not what Chopper went up for. Jesus. <laughs> I think, yeah, exactly. I think I picked the wrong ship to board. <laughs> We're thinking alike today. Zoro regrets these past hundred episodes. This is Zoro's hundred episode uh, anniversary, isn't it? <laughs> He joined in episode two, and now we're on episode 102. Or was it episode three? I'm, I'm going to say episode two. Uh, where are you going to show us your manly courage? <laughs> He's talking all big. I love how his nose is drooping, too. It's <laughs> Looks like you're going to be a worrier for the rest of your life. She's just that type of person. She worried about everybody she cares about. It's a good thing to have. It's a good thing to have. For the most part. <laughs> I was going to be paranoid, but still. How is it possible for you to believe in your Nakama so much? How is not the question. The question is why. <laughs> and the why has been answered thoroughly throughout the episodes of 30 to 40. I was proven wrong many times. Proven wrong thoroughly as well. Maybe it's because everyone does. Oh, what the? Yeah, that's true. That's true. He said something back now that I came from. What did he say? Of course, I don't know a damn thing about swords, you dumbass. I don't know how to navigate either. I don't know how to, I can't cook. I can't even lie. <laughs> was, I was like, hey, hey, chill out. <laughs> Need others help if you want to keep on living. Exactly. I like how she remembers those words, you know. It's very, very, very powerful speech Luffy put out there. He needs other people to help him out. Luffy understands that much. He can't do everything alone. Yeah, exactly. Yep. But if they don't do all they can for you, it's all meaningless. Mm-hmm. That was the perfect answer. It's starting to get cool now, and it's, it's uh, evening's coming through here. It's about to be nighttime. Straight chilly. Luffy might be the savior indeed. <laughs> now he's got energy. Now he's all cooled off. Wouldn't it be better for them f to find shade and rest during the day and travel at night because it's cooler? Oh, he smells Nami's perfume. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. He's got a strong nose. Jeez, Chopper. That's Luffy's special. That's a superpower, man. That's Luffy's superpower right there. Just running off on his own with no care in the world. So hopefully episode 103 we can get into the... Because they said they were going to make it by nightfall, right? So I'm assuming episode 3 or 103 we're going to be getting there. I've seen so many things while we've been traveling together. Yep, yep indeed. Can someone uh, let me know the uh, exact episodes uh, each of the crew members we have so far uh, joined on in? Because I want to, I want to, I want to be able to mention their uh, 100 episode anniversaries. Because um, of course, Luffy's, you know, Luffy's at the star of the show. He doesn't, doesn't really need one. But uh, Zoro's is technically episode 10. Is it 101 or 102? 
I think it's 102, right? 102 is 100 episodes after episode two. You know, there, there's some mis- mix-ups there, but uh, when did Usopp join? Was it episode 17, maybe? I think it was 17, right? I think he joined episode 17. So 117 will be his uh, little one episode anniversary. And then for Sanji, it was somewhere in the 30s, right? Was it 28, 29, something around there? And then Nami was like 38? I'm just, I'm just spitballing here. I'm not sure. I have to look back. But, um, yeah, good episode right there. A uh, bit of a travel episode. Uh, I don't know if I consider this filler. I hope it's not because we got some um, Tomb Raider ancient ruins explorations here. I hope those are canon. I hope we can get some more um, into the whole ancient ruins thing. Because that's, that's a really interesting thing to point out. Chopper said he was reading up on it and he noticed, like, the ancient languages that they were using. So, um, maybe there's something there. Maybe there are, like, some <laughs> ancient devil fruit users that were able to uh, make these ruins. And I don't know what they're writing about. Uh, maybe there, there's some hidden treasure on this island they hidden, uh, that they hid around. So, um, okay, pretty good episode. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, a lot of uh, character building here. We got a bit of uh, Zoro and Chopper moments. We got some uh, moments for Usopp. Everyone got a little bit. Everyone got a little bit. So uh, let's get right into episode 103. Um, of course, you guys should be waiting for episode 103. Um, I'm getting right into it, though. So thank you, guys. So much for watching, as always, forever and always. Thank you guys so much. And, um, you know, see you guys in the next episode. Peace.